going on everybody here welcome back to some more satisfactory so last episode well last episode was actually a satisfactory server episode so we're back to the like the regular save stuff now and in the last episode we unlocked some lights we unlocked some things and i was trying to figure out how we're gonna do stuff so i kind of played around i kind of figured out what i want to do as far as like floor traversal wise and things like that so we're gonna be playing with that and oh my gosh i bet you we have some tickets to play with here we got 53 coupons 53 coupons to play with so i'm excited about that hopefully you all enjoy if you do maybe consider leaving a like on the video maybe consider subscribing if you think i earned it so before we get going any further i gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video which is you guys because we got some more patreons so i'm gonna add a couple more patreon names here uh and thank you guys for supporting the channel supporting me supporting doing doing what i do so i do appreciate it if you're interested in becoming patreon i'll have a link down below um so we've got a couple people here uh do i have the stuff for more okay so i know we've got uh a silver at least so let me get that one done so we've got drixa thank you so much we've got a red king thank you thank you and nomadic gamer thank you guys so much appreciate it all right so let's get on with this so uh we this is what i kind of figured out that i think i'm gonna do with the floor traversal area because i was like okay I need to be able to get from floor to floor and I need to be able to run across from different sections and I didn't want to bring a thing out so I basically just built what we got right here so let me run up there I don't actually have any hyper tubes or anything connected yet uh yeah I know I need to I'm sorry I'm slack like did I hook up a hyper tube yet oh I think I did is this one nope never mind um but these are gonna be our hyper tube hubs so we're gonna have a hyper tube hub here that's gonna take us to all the floors and then we're gonna have one over here so we're gonna have one on each side so depending on where I need to go, I can either take that one and then run across or take this one and run across. Um, I'm not going to do it on all four walls because that's just going to be a little crazy. And I already had kind of have stuff like right here. So uh, I need to get up here and I'll kind of show you what we got going on. And uh, OK, so basically this is what I did. The the catwalk, if you will, is going to have windows all the way around it. So like while you're walking around, you can see out the windows. And then at each intersection, we're going to have this ladder or this stair going up to the next floor. Now, what's nice about this is I can actually take this guy and I can actually just uh, repeat it. So like, let's say we had another floor right here. We could repeat it right. Well, you know what? I actually need to do the next floor and bring it down, uh, but we can bring it up again and then so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So super cool, super neato. And I think it's going to work for us. Um, oh, see, this cyber tube's connected. Why are you not actually... Oh, you're not powered. Wait, why aren't you powered? Yeah, I thought I hooked these up already. I must not actually hooked them up to power yet. Um, and then another thing I want to do as well is I want to hide my power lines. So I actually went ahead and I ran interior power lines right here all the way across, as you can see. So we got power lines there. I want to move some stuff, get some stuff cleaned up. Um, that's going to be future stuff. I'll probably just go ahead and do that on my own because like, I don't think it's going to be super exciting for you guys to watch that. And uh, let's go ahead and let's actually get rid of uh, these lines because we had these lines going, getting us tickets right now. And I don't think I need any more tickets yet. So we're just going to let this go back into there. And I'm going to delete the one that's coming down from up top. All right, cool, cool. Now, another thing that I saw... Um, on my server actually that I really liked and what we're gonna do here is let's get our walls out and we're gonna use these full frame window walls right here and these are gonna run oh I'm not zooping we need to be zooping always be zooping uh, these are gonna run like this so that way we can see our factory but it's it's blocked off you know it's it's a different area and I think it's gonna, it looks super cool. So then you can kind of, you can see it's like, oh, we got a factory in here. Um, and then we'll probably go ahead and throw a door on here actually. So let's see, a wall, uh, a center door would probably be good. Let's just throw that maybe right in here. Kind of like out of the way a little bit of everything else. So we got a door there. Fantastic, how nice does that look? I love that. Um, you know, it's really nice actually having the server because I'm getting a whole bunch of ideas from it, yay. Um, all right. Now, so that's kind of what we're doing. I'm just kind of showing you the rundown so that way when you come back and everything's already done like that, you, you know why. Um, let's go ahead and let's pull our 53 tickets out here. Uh, shoot. There we go. And let's see what we need to buy from here. So, I do want, um, I want the roof, the concrete pillar. Oh gosh, I kind of just want everything. Let's get the frame, the beam, 
that these actually do i want the industrial rail man it's only one ticket why not uh ladders we already have that add the road barrier and then what do we have for organization uh floodlights i'm gonna see if i can just add everything that i want here uh we need these we need these we need these <laughs> what are we at right now 42 oh my gosh attachments hypertube hypertube floor floor hole need that oh wow that's actually really cool um conveyor wall mounts maybe let's look at foundations here um i don't really need any of those right now the factory cart oh the factory cart would be pretty cool concrete floor steel floor oh i want the patterns too okay um you know what i'm gonna add all of these and i'm gonna see what we're at and then we can delete stuff as needed steel wall material maybe okay what are we at we're at 60 <laughs> nice uh we're at 69 parts we have 53 so what do i not need so much of um let's get rid of the dotted line pattern let's get rid of the solid line pattern for now um do i need the transportation icons probably not i honestly the factory zones the numbers I would like pathways. We're at 57. Conveyor walls. I feel like I need those. I do need these ramps in order to uh, close in some of our stuff. The floodlights, those would be nice. The structural frame set is for sure awesome. What is the structural beam package? Look, what is, what is that? So metal beam, painted metal beam, beam support, beam connector. I feel like that's gonna look cool if I get it though. 57. And I do want the fix it roofs because that's gonna give us like different angles for roofing. Do I have any more tickets anywhere? I do not have any more tickets. Darn it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? I'm just going to buy what I know I need now, and then we'll just leave everything else. Okay, so we're just going to buy this stuff for now. We're going to get the roof, the concrete pillar, the structural frame set, the floodlights, inverted ramps, floor hole, conveyor wall mounts, and these. We're going to get all this stuff. So all that stuff's unlocked. Um, now, for the floor stuff. Uh, okay, so I needed all those to fill in gaps and holes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Customizer patterns so i want a oh this is where the uh the paint cartridge comes into play huh Ooh, you know what i'm glad i kept all those flowers where are they oh actually i have some in my inventory let's go ahead and grab those uh let's turn those into color cartridges 660 of them holy moly uh let's go ahead and throw our tickets into here to make sure we're oh there's a whole bunch more flowers right there too haha -ha, winning okay so we have 200 color cartridges here now customizer uh, full factory zone. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I want this customizer full factory zone. I want it to be a different color though. Um, edit swatch customize. Is there a way to edit the color right now? Oh, probably we need like a, uh, what is a swatch color? Let's see. Uh, let's go with, let's go with the custom swatch. Hold on. I like my black custom swatch. Um, let's go with, let's edit this swatch. I'm never going to use these. It needs to be like that bright, you know, like warning area. That. And then this can just be, uh, actually, let's do this. And then pattern, full factory. So we can put those there. And then customizer, color, swatch. Oh, see, I only want the pattern to be that color. Huh. So how, you know what? I'm going to have to, let's see, patterns, remove pattern. Take those. And then full factory. See, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so full factory zone. Quick switch customizer. So I'm trying to figure out how to change pattern removal, full factory zone, half factory zone, those. How do I change the color? 
Because I want to change the color, but I don't want to change the color of the foundation. So I can change the color of these, but I can't... See, I don't want the red... Huh. I can't select the pattern on top of here. How come I can't make that a different color? Okay, so there we go. So basically, I had to make the swatch um, white underneath and orange on the top. So that's make that makes that color. Okay, so there, there. Now, there, there's our danger zone. Like, careful. You might get sucked in. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Now, another thing that we unlocked is floodlights, which I want to check those out because we need some lighting some places. And how big? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> it's huge. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need, like, street lights or something. If I want to have this area lit... Uh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Because I want to have, like, some, some lights and stuff in here, but I don't really have any small lights. So, yeah, we'll have to figure out the lights. Uh, we'll have to figure out the lighting situation. We'll figure that out later. And... Let's see, that's what I wanted to do. Now, what are the other things that we unlocked? We unlocked the... The floors, right? The glass floors. Do we not unlock the glass floors? Is that under architectural? Yes. Okay. So glass floor. There's a glass frame. There's these. There's these. There's these. Okay. So this is floor frame. Glass frame foundation. That's what we want. Um, also, I did see something that I really liked. I really like these stone pillars. They make... They they give the uh, they give the whole build like a nice industrial feel, so like I was gonna say put it like right here. Small concrete pillar. Let's go with that one. But essentially, they kind of give the whole like area like a nice like industrial kind of feel. You know what I mean? It gives it a little bit of three dimension, gives a little bit more, and I I like that. I actually really like that. Now, you know what else I need, though? I probably need those beams. Oh, no, they, they go across this way, too, right? They do, but do we have... We don't have, like, the corner. You know what? We need that beam package, don't we? Yeah, let's go grab that. <gasps> oh! Tar roof, glass roof? I missed the glass... It didn't unlock until I just got it now, huh? Um steel roof material oh i like that okay hold on let's get the uh let's get those beams so i don't think i want the frames i want the structural beam let's grab that and let's check this out because i'm curious to see how these structural beams will look going across these concrete pillars right here so metal beam painted beam get beam connector oh so like we could put one there one there and then we could run across there how does that look this one's off of here yeah see that looks pretty cool um you know though if i put that up a little bit that would probably finish off this unfinished floor edge right there so i cannot for the life of me actually get this to snap right exactly where that beam pillar is at <gasps> i can't do it it won't snap there so i think that's about as good as it's gonna get um it actually it actually doesn't look too bad actually kind of looks good i think i think i can do i think i can deal with that okay so there's that so that kind of is what that looks like and i i like the i don't know but i really like the the way that the concrete looks as like supporting structures like i like that it gives you just a little bit more you know i don't know my opinion what do you think leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the uh the concrete pillars okay so i added the bases to them now too that looks a little bit better i think so I think it's gonna look good okay so there's that i'm gonna stop messing with those now i just you know you could just get lost in the details just doing like trying to detail everything you could just get so lost in it okay so that, <laughs> that's that so what we need to do now is we actually need to clean this place up so i've showed you like kind of how we're doing this so i'm gonna go through i'm actually gonna finish this we're gonna get power ran i'm gonna get the power lines hid i want to get all this stuff kind of like disappeared um i want to get power lights actually thrown up and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be getting this base cleaned up. We're going to actually try to make it look nice. I think I'm going to I, I'm going to replicate this kind of thing on all of these and just kind of see what it feels like, how it looks. Now, also, somebody might ask me, be asking, what's the deal with this tractor? This tractor 
was so I could check clearances on stuff. So as you can see, um, I want to make sure that we were still good clearance wise with this. And I wanted to check actually how tall this had to be for this door right here. And what you know, it's only it's only one singular one singular like wall height. So it's, it works perfectly. And then we need to get out here cleaned up and stuff too. So all kinds of fun stuff to get cleaned up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to completely finish one of these sections. I'll show it to you and then I'll probably just go ahead and repeat it on my own. Okay, so I got one completed, I think. There's probably going to be little tweaks here and there, um, but I got it completed. So here's the entryway. Now, let me know what you think of this. I'm not 100% sold on it. It looks a little bit more finished, but I don't know. I put those at the I put these um the pillar supports at the top cuz I just really like it just didn't look good not finished. So I was trying to figure out like what to do with that. So um, we have those up top for now. Here's our entryway. As you can see, we've got our lighting here. Uh, I tried to hide the wires. I could throw, um, I could probably throw different windows in here to kind of hide those wires behind the windows. We got that. We walk in and then here's our lighting. As you can see, so what I decided to do was for every light I put, I also put a, uh, a double-sided pillar pole or a double-sided power pole on top of it because one, I don't mind that sticking out of this side above the light and two, it lines up perfectly. So I know exactly where each individual light is at. And then we have this guy right here. This is our, you know, our top walkway area. Um, I saw this obviously on the server and I really liked how they put the, uh, the corners on there. Really, really makes it look like super, like futuristic. So uh, we got that. And then, so as you walk in, We've got the poles on the side here. We've got those enclosed, that enclosed, and then I moved the hub. The hub is now over here. So we have it sticking out and it is not clipping. So our, our machine is not clipping right now. However, uh, once we get the uh, the towers actually put up, I this is I don't know if this is even gonna look like it ever work, but <laughs> there's that for now. And then I built a little room in this corner right here. So as you can see, we walk in, we have our hub here, or our, uh, you know, equipment workstation. We have all this stuff here. Um, I threw some storages back here. And then here's our lighting control. So what I did with lighting control is uh, let me head up to the walkway. I actually don't have a way to get up there yet. Let me head up to the walkway, and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with lighting. Uh, now, this is going to be for the main lighting, for all, like, the white lights and, you know, the things that actually provide light. Um, I have an idea for accent lighting, uh, but I think accent lighting is probably going to be like we're going to build it in an area and just wire it up in that area and not run run it around the entire uh, the entire base. But what I did is you can see we have two power lines here. So basically, I'm just going to keep this as like a standard and the top line is for lights. The bottom line is for power. So I'm going to run these basically all the way around up every level so that way whenever we need to hook on lights the top one right here is light so if we need to light up this area you know add some lights in here the top one is going to be their lighting control so those are always good uh, they're not going to get it mixed up and um yeah so we'll we'll know we'll be able to control the lights because i don't think i'm pretty sure like you have to have these separate i don't think you can just have them together so um, yeah, that's like kind of how I did that. And then as you can see on this side, we have our power poles. I'm not worried about what the inside of the factory is going to look like so much. I'm more worried about the outside because inside of a factory, right? It's going to be, it's going to be a disaster. Like, I mean, it's not gonna be a disaster, but it's not gonna be perfect. Um, uh, it, that's just how it is. That's just, you know, it's a factory, so it's not going to look perfect, but we're going to end up throwing, like I said, probably glass like this on each of these. So you can see like in the factory area, uh, this is going to be our hyper tube hub right here. For this side, then I need to do one on the other side over there. So I like how this is looking. I am a little, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the entryway yet, though. Um, I like what we got going on in here. These I don't need to be finished because we're gonna keep building up anyways. But I'm not a hundred percent sold on the entryway of this place. Um, like I said, I could end up throwing different walls in here so you don't see these power lines. But this this concrete thing out here, I don't I don't know. It just something like I almost you know like we need like I need like a finishing block for these corners, you know. And I don't have beam connectors. See, these are tiny. I was kind of hoping there'd be some kind of finishing block, but I don't see it. I might have to go back and look in the uh, the awesome shop. But that is roughly one of our entryways done completely. We got lights on it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I also did, I don't know if you saw this, 
this this uh little one wall right there is all gonna be windows because I think that looks sick. It almost makes it look like a spaceship. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We got our hallway done. It looks good. I got things cleaned up, and this over here we're gonna do parking. So any of my vehicles, whatever, I'm gonna park them all right here. Um, so that way, hopefully, we don't lose them. If we need to go anywhere, we can. And that is basically what we're going to do. But I'm going to do that on each one of these. And it's really not too bad. It's not too bad. Once once I got the, uh, once we get like the power lines actually like ran and organized and stuff, um, it's not bad at all. These can actually go away. But yeah, we have a parking lot over here. Um, I don't know this wall right here. We're going to do something with it. This wall over here, I don't really know either. I mean, we have this door here, but I think I'm going to end up moving this door I think I might. Well, no, I think that door can stay. Or I might move it, end up moving it to a side. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I need to get the hyper tubes hooked up. And I need to make sure everything's powered. Because I don't actually think everything's powered anymore. <laughs> I think I broke it. So I got to look at that. But yeah, there's, there's our idea. There's our rough idea. Now, while we're talking about base ideas and what I have kind of planned, like, architecturally, is I actually want to kind of start expanding out here a little bit because I really liked when we were on the server. I like all the little buildings everywhere. I think those are like kind of cool. Um, so I want to put up some buildings, even though they might not be necessary for us right now. Um, I'd like to get some things built. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have like, this is going to be our central thing, you know? And then we're going to have maybe little factories and stuff like kind of out here or maybe just random buildings that we'll eventually throw stuff in. <laughs> just build the building first. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I just want to build a building. Um, and basically just have like, you know, a nice walkway. Oh, good. That actually worked out perfectly. Uh, have like a nice walkway and a nice like exterior area of the base place. Now, this will probably end up extending this way. And then we'll probably have to put uh, a ramp up here like that in order to get over this dune. Uh, but basically just keep expanding around, you know, and build it and finish it and make it look like a whole like little big huge industrial area. I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be neat. Uh, but that's gonna end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's a little bit shorter of an episode, I think. But I wanted to kind of get this done because I really like how this looks. Um, you know what? Actually, there is a little bit more we could do here. We could actually throw that like that. That'll kind of finish that off. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I like that. Um, actually, I wonder if I threw, can't throw one there. Uh, yeah, no, I like that. I like it. So yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And like I said, accent lighting, um, I do want to do some red accent lighting. So my idea for those is basically try to figure out how we can do it. Um, and I'd like to throw lights behind windows like this that were red but would be blocked off so like it would just look red from a distance and you'd be able to like see like the big red pillars or big red stuff or whatever and yeah i just i think that'd be cool but that is kind of what we got going on i ended up i really like this little area too this is gonna make things nice and um like i said i'm not gonna have like a main controller for red lights i'm only gonna use this main controller for the main factory lighting to keep everything lit and then each individual little area i'll probably end up just throwing another one of those machines like right next to it and just hook it on make it have make it work in that area it'll be a disaster but it'll be hidden so it won't matter <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for coming out have a wonderful rest of your day if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like if you're new here maybe consider subscribing if you think i earned it and if you need a server you can use the link down below and you can actually get 20 for 20 off your first month server as well because my personal save is running on a server that's how we're doing all the things that we are letting machine runs letting machines run and stuff um yeah i like it i like it but thank you again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you next time bye everybody